My students don't know I'm visually impaired when I start teaching them, it usually comes out. And my running gag is if you want to get away with anything, do it on the right side of my face, I won't see you do it. My name's Neil Hines. Uh, I am a lecturer at North Metro TAFE in East Perth and I have been for the last 13 years. My life before my vision impairment was certainly a case of being carefree. I certainly felt bulletproof. I lost a degree of sight due to diabetes. I had two lots of surgery and as a result of that surgery I have 65% total vision, the majority in my left and fairly heavily compromised in my right. The loss of freedom certainly came about from the fact of losing mobility and not being able to drive. So certainly if I wanted to go somewhere, if I needed to do something, I had to rely on others to be able to help me or assist me. And that never feels good when you go from a point of being able to do things for yourself and now having to rely on people to assist you to do those things. So I started in the IT Essentials course, which is a Cisco offering. Um, I did very, very well in that IT Essentials course as a student. And at that point in time, when I was about to complete, uh, Professor Murray did pull me aside and said, well, you've done very, very well. Uh, would you like to now have a go with this course as an instructor? CABI stands for the Cisco Academy for Vision Impaired and it provides ICT training to students with varying and wide degrees of disability. CABI had a very profound effect on my life given the fact of where I was going and I didn't really have a pathway as opposed to now having a career and a pathway which certainly wasn't there when I lost my degree of vision. Visually impaired teaching techniques are applicable to those with vision impairments but are absolutely applicable to those without vision impairments. One of the tools I do use is a pegboard. The pegboard allows me to peg out an IP address which logically identifies a client on the network. Certainly pegging these addresses out allows the student to tactile feel their way through an address rather than it just being taught to them vocally. I get a kick out of being in a class where I can be a vision impaired teacher. They don't see me as being vision impaired or even look at me like that. And after the course ends, I tell them I'm a vision impaired instructor. Most of the time, they have no idea. I miss having vision, but I look at what I gained by the loss. The loss is not a loss anymore.